Let me show you how you can easily build cascading dropdowns in our systems. Um, here in my service studio, what I have done is build a reactive web application that has one module. The module consists of uh, two entities at the moment, customer and products. Customers will buy products. That's the idea. And this is where I'll, I'm going to build a screen that will have drop down where once you select a product, it shows you who are the customers. Okay. If you I can expand this, you can see all these attributes inside. And I also have the corresponding data in these tables. So first of all, we have to build the relationship. So customers will buy products, maybe by having one more field in that. Now platform can help you in creating uh, these kind of listing and detail screen. So for example, customer, if I drag and drop this, it allows me to have a listing screen and a detail screen. Uh, the thing that I'm particularly interested about is the detail page. This is where, because of the relationship just now, which I built, right? I now have a drop down for product. Okay. With this, we'll be able to create records that will have relationship with the product table. Now, what we're going to do next is create a third screen. Maybe we'll call it order using the blank template. Give it a title. Now, in here, we are going to have uh, two drop downs one for product, and the moment you select some product, we want to also have a second drop down where it should show you the list of customers in there. Okay, so for that we need to have two queries, one for product. I'll right click on the screen and fetch data from database. And this would be my product. And if I go back, I can create one more for the customers. Okay, now we have two queries on the page. These two can be bound to two drop downs. So here in the widget left hand side, we have all these uh, UI widgets available. Drop down is one of them. There's one and here you go, another one. Let me add this into a container so I can put some margin. Just to make them appear nicer. Okay, now the first drop down is what I'm going to bind with uh, the products. So here you go. If you don't have a variable to store the selection, you can right away create this from this parameter here itself. And for the second one also, we are going to do the same thing. So it will be the customers and the parameter will be a new local variable. Now, as of now, both, uh, both the drop downs are there and they are bound to their respective queries. What is missing right now is the association. Association as in when I select something here, uh, the corresponding customer should be shown. So for that, first thing is we'll modify the get customers query. They're going to put a filter filter that says that only bring out those customers whose product ID is equals to the selection in the uh, product drop down, right? Which as you know, was bound to product identifier, the variable that we just now created. With this, if you go back now, now the two uh, drop downs are linked, but still when something changes in here, right? We want to trigger a refresh, refresh of this customer drop down. So for that, when you select the first drop down, and you look at its properties there's also one property here which can trigger an event on change in this case with this we'll create a new client action and this client action will just use the refresh data to refresh the get customers by prog id query and that's it let's publish to see the results uh, before i do that let me also make sure the order is the home page otherwise we'll not be able to navigate to it and publish so now the application is being published, platform is doing the version management, generating the code and database scripts. Uh, database model and application has been updated and we can now launch it to see the outcome. So we'll come to the page later. First of all, let me modify and add some customers with some products in it. So let's say the first one is for automatic and save. Second one also is for automatic end and the third one NM is for Amazon Echo and next is for me Corp Amazon Echo maybe okay with this if we go back to the home page right now the default the first product is selected but if I change to maybe Amazon Echo I can see the two uh, customers who are placed the order for it 
and likewise for automatic and let me find where it is it's here I have the two others okay so the value changes let me do that again so just so you can capture it I mean as an echo the customers are different and if I change it to automatic and which appears somewhere here okay cool thanks for watching